Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. It's good to have you here. In this video, we'll be looking at the camshaft. We'll be looking at the different components and the different functions it has. Here is a typical diesel engine camshaft. Here is a drive gear. Some of them are driven by gear. This for example is driven by gear. Some are driven by sprockets, chain is chain driven and some are belt driven. This is a small camshaft taken out of a single cylinder engine. See there are two cam lobes, one for intake and one for exhaust. Gear driven. So no matter what the size is, their function is similar. They open the valves. When you look at this camshaft, this is belt driven. Belt driven camshaft. See, this is an overhead cam arrangement and the other possible drive and right here we have another camshaft that is chain driven so it is driven by chain sprocket driven so these are the different types of drives there is a gear drive there is a belt driven and there is chain driven camshaft as you can see, the camshaft is rotating half the speed of the crankshaft. It is designed in such a way that it rotates half the speed of the crankshaft. And when we look at the arrangement of the camshaft, it can be placed on the cylinder head, overhead valve configuration. For example, look at this engine. The camshaft is installed on the cylinder head. This is overhead valve arrangement. And the other arrangement is where we have the camshaft inside the engine block, in block type. Here, for example, the camshaft is placed inside the engine block and valves will be driven, operated by push rods. Look, for example, here. There we have the camshaft. This is the camshaft and valves are operated by push rods these push rods they open and close the valve so this is camshaft in block type configuration when we look at some of the parts these are the places where the camshaft rests on the bearing journals so these are supports and then we have cam lobes these are cam lobes that are responsible for opening valves so valves are operated by the cam lobes so the main function of the camshaft is to open the intake valve and the exhaust valve that is the main function of the camshaft here you can see for example the cam lobes they open the intake and exhaust valves right here for example you can see the valve opening and closing mechanism activated by the camshaft see And the other function of the camshaft, for example, on gasoline engine, it drives the distributor shaft. Here we have the distributor shaft. And as you can see, it is connected to the camshaft. There is a gear dedicated for driving 
the distributor shaft and the oil pump on gasoline camshafts. And the other function of the camshaft on gasoline engine for example is it drives the fuel pump. Right here you will see there is an eccentric cam that is driving this fuel pump. This is a gasoline fuel pump and as you can see it is being operated by the camshaft. The oil pump in some engine is also driven by a gear on the camshaft. So the camshaft is responsible for deciding the firing time. The camshaft is responsible for deciding the valve opening and closing time. So it is very mandatory that the camshaft is adjusted to the proper timing when camshaft is installed. When the arrangement or the configuration of the camshaft is like camshaft in block type, we require another extra components for operating the valve. These components are here we have the tappet that is directly connected to the cam lobe on the camshaft. You can see that the cam lobe is lifted, lifting up the tappet and that lifting motion is transferred to the push rod. Here we have the push rod. And from the push rod, it is transferred to the rocker. Here we have the push rod. See, it's lifting up, it transfers to the rocker arm. Then the rocker arm will be acting on the valve tip. So this is how it operates. The cam lobes on the camshaft are arranged according to the firing order of the cylinders. For example, if it is 1, 3, 4, 2, then it will open the valves with this firing order sequence. So we can clearly say that the camshaft is the one that is deciding the firing order. The camshaft is the one that is deciding the valve opening time and valve opening period as well. On a four stroke engine like this one, the camshaft is driven at half the speed of the crankshaft because in order to undergo the four strokes the crankshaft requires 720 degree whereas the camshaft will have to do that within half the revolution of the crankshaft so on a four stroke engine the crankshaft is rotating twice the speed of the camshaft that is why we have a smaller gear on the crankshaft whereas we have twice larger gear on the camshaft so that the speed will be reduced and crankshaft will be rotating at half the speed of the crankshaft. On the overhead valve configuration, the cam lobes are directly acting on the tappets that are connected to the valve tip. So there is no push rod, no, no other components required to transmit the camshaft motion from the cam lobes to the valve. Only valve adjusting clearance adjusting shims are there and valve is directly operated by the camshaft. This is an overhead type arrangement. So this is all we have for you in this presentation. I hope you have found some clue about the function of the camshaft and the different methods of driving a camshaft and the different configurations and layouts it has. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video.